Kelly Paxton, you are the pink collar crime expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm absolutely honored. Well, I'm excited because you have a new book coming out, and I want to talk about that a little bit. One of the key themes in this book that you shared with me is that honest people steal. That's backwards. What does that mean? <laughs> you know, I have worked um, with... I was in federal law enforcement. I was a special agent for U.S. Customs, and I arrested your typical bad guy. I was armed 24-7. I got to drive fast cars and not get tickets, and I arrested people. We say bad guys. That's just what is in our vocabulary. Then I went to work for a sheriff's office, and it was embezzlement cases. And all of a sudden, I saw my suspects were regular-looking people, like not people that you would say, that's a bad guy. It's like, that's a mom. That's a, you know, that's a dad. That's a, you know, a pillar of the community. And so I can't get out of bed in the morning if I think I'm going to be ripped off. We have to have, we have to be positive towards people. But like um, Ronald Reagan says, trust but verify. So I work much more on the trust but verify because I have seen so many honest people steal. Scary. And then the other thing that you mentioned is it can happen to anyone. You and I were talking earlier and you mentioned that uh, embezzlement, right? Mark Cuban was embezzled. How the heck does that happen to somebody so smart who you would think is so good with money and on top of things? Yeah, that's, so Mark Cuban's a billionaire. And then I have another client I'm consulting with who, when they were ripped off, they reached out to one of their clients, one of their good clients, because they needed a loan. And he's a billionaire. So I know personally of two billionaires who have been ripped off. I don't care how smart you are, how successful you are. Um, if you have the attitude that it can't happen to you, it will happen to you. And Mark Cuban actually states, he says it was the best thing that ever happened to him because it wasn't going to happen again. Because he saw, in his case, a woman literally used whiteout to cover the vendor's name to make it out to herself. Wow. So it can happen in any industry, no matter how smart or about, no matter how not smart you are. What happens is there's an opportunity. The fraud triangle has opportunity, pressure, and rationalization. We can best control for opportunity, but there's a little bit of rationalization that you can affect. Yeah, especially if you're stealing from a billionaire, right? It makes it a little bit easier to justify. Okay. So embezzlement can happen to anyone. It can be the most honest looking or, or otherwise honest person who's doing it. Somebody who's about to read your upcoming book, what do you want them to know? What do you want when they put down that book and walk away? What do you want them thinking about? I, I want them to feel better about their situation. I think a lot of people that are going to read the book are the ones that it's happened to. And I kind of joke that I'm a fraud therapist because we don't really want to tell our friends that we've been ripped off by this low level employee that maybe you didn't think was so smart to begin with. I'm not saying that they are or they aren't, but I want people to understand that it can happen to anyone and that money is replaceable and you need just to get back to work and eventually you're, it will change your life, but it doesn't have to change your life in the worst way possible. So we should try to prevent it, but if it happens to us, move on. Yeah, get back to work. That's the first thing, first off, because they're going to have to pay someone to investigate it. But, you know, cops don't become cops to play with pivot tables or Excel spreadsheets. Right. And it's a lot of times the cases are difficult in that, you know, there's a lot of documentation. So, um, yeah, I mean, it can happen to anyone. I like that piece of advice. I, I hope not to get embezzled anytime soon, but the next time something bad happens, I'm going to tell myself, get back to work. And with that, Kelly, I'm going to let you get back to work. Really nice chatting with you today. Look forward to the new book. Thanks. Thank you.